the early days, it was a, a big mystery off Palm Cove where people were being stung and they didn't know what was causing this problem. And it wasn't until the, the 1960s they connected it to a little small jellyfish that was found off the waters of Palm Cove, which is located between Cairns and Port Douglas. That's when they named the species of jellyfish after the tribe. So my tribal group, uh, Yurikanji. Our people were thought to be extinct after settlement of Cairns, but now, you know, we can say, oh, we, we, we're still here. I really loved the idea of having that connection to Indigenous culture of Australia and, and I wanted a name that really motivated us as competitive athletes when we paddle out in the water and to think about a creature that yeah, is deadly in the water, that has sting and has a, a punch to it that to me as a competitor I know when I'm paddling out going into battle I want to feel that strength and Irigangi worked perfectly for us. They were interested in the name uh, Yurikanji. Out of respect, they contacted our people just to ensure that we were happy with that opportunity, the naming. I spoke to some of our elders, our corporations, and we were all happy. Our people were known as, as fierce, ferocious people up in Cairns. They said the jellyfish reel was fierce and dangerous and invisible, this invisible danger. And when people were stung, they were, were hit hard. We could see that relevance in the national team with our, our surfers surfing out there on the world stage, being dangerous and fierce and, and being feared. Working with BW and Dentsu was amazing. It was a lot of collaboration to get to where we are today and I'm really proud of where it is. Creating this work, I wanted to combine both that, I guess my traditional um, areas type of art, which is more line art, with also the feeling of the ocean, which is that really free flowing and kind of rippled like wave feeling that you get while in the ocean. So I kind of combine those two to create the art that is seen in the, the Surfing Australia work. I think I, I knew what I was getting into creating art for the Olympics, but I don't think it really hit me until I saw it in real life, seeing it on the boards and on the uniforms and having our Olympic surfers wearing it and talking about how proud they are to represent not only Australia, but our First Nations people. And that's special to me as, as a young Aboriginal woman. I think it's really wonderful to see our Olympians be so proud of the history that this country holds and being able to showcase that to the world and show the world how wonderful we are. I'd love to win a gold medal and to represent my country and to do it in a jersey that has a connection to the Indigenous culture. Um, yeah, that's, that's really going to be a, a highlight of my career and a highlight of my entire life.